Welcome to the We On podcast, where we explore fascinating stories and ideas from various fields. In this episode, we uncover how iron beam light, and more importantly, its powerful laser technology, could become Israel's most effective drone killer. Fast, precise, and low cost, it may reshape the future of air defense. And to understand why this shift matters now, we need to look at how Israel is reshaping its frontline defenses. Israel is all set to deploy its iron beam by the end of this year, thus becoming the first country to field a combat-ready laser air defense system. Israel's push into laser-based air defense further accelerated with the development of iron beam's lighter counterpart, iron beam light. While iron beam is a 100 kilowatt high energy laser designed to intercept rockets, mortars, artillery and UAVs. Iron beam light introduces a mobile 10 kilowatt variant intended for frontline forces. According to information from Rafael, which develops both systems, the light version is designed to counter the rapid rise of small UAVs and drone swarms, now one of Israel's most persistent battlefield threats. Small drones have become cheaper, faster, and more adaptable in today's era. This makes them difficult to counter with conventional interceptors. Iron Beam Light is built specifically for this challenge. Raphael states that the system can neutralize low-altitude UAVs, mini-drones, and drone swarms at ranges of up to 3 kilometers by heating a coin-sized point on each target until failure occurs within seconds. Additionally, the system can destroy up to 10 threats simultaneously, an essential capability in modern drone-heavy warfare. While the full-size iron beam system is powerful, according to the Jerusalem Post, its 100 kilowatt laser and 450 mm beam require largely stationary deployment, similar to fixed air defense batteries. Iron beam light, on the other hand, has been designed for mobility. Raphael states it can be mounted on 4x4 four four vehicles, 6x6 six six, and 8x8 eight eight platforms, and tracked armored fighting vehicles. Both Iron Beam and its light variant share the same core advantage, near zero cost per shot. Raphael emphasizes that Lita Beam operates with an unlimited magazine and almost zero interception cost, an enormous contrast to traditional interceptors. This makes it attractive for countering cheap drones, which often cost only a few hundred dollars, yet previously required expensive missiles to defeat. Raphael notes that Iron Beam Light can operate day and night and integrate with a wide range of detection radars and C4I systems. Its sensor suite enables accurate target selection with minimal risk of collateral damage. This is critical when intercepting threats near friendly forces or civilian areas. The operator can remain safely inside a vehicle or remote shelter while still retaining control over target engagement. According to the Jerusalem Post, the Israeli Defense Ministry and Raphael had announced in June that Iron Beam Light had already reached operational status ahead of full deployment of the larger Iron Beam. The ministry also revealed that Israeli laser defense systems had shot down around 40 Hezbollah drones during October 2024. As drone swarms become an emerging threat, the system's ability to retarget rapidly and engage multiple UAVs at once is central to its purpose. Raphael stresses that Iron Beam Light is designed to protect airports, power stations, military convoys, urban checkpoints, and combat troops, locations where low-altitude drones tend to operate. With Israel preparing to field Iron Beam as a strategic fifth layer of national air defense, its light counterpart fills a different but equally urgent gap. Direct, mobile protection for ground forces. By combining mobility, rapid engagement, and near-zero interception cost, Iron Beam Light is positioned to become the IDF's frontline drone killer, specifically engineered for the threats that dominate today's modern battlefields. Thanks for tuning into this incredible story. If this episode resonated with you, don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button for more captivating stories to come. Stay tuned.